Good afternoon, LC people. Yeah. The engine went in first thing this morning. Then I went and visited my mate for an hour. He got some spaces for Mazonto's wheels. Yeah, the crew went on. Plumbed him up. These went on. Yeah, not happy about the peak limb. That reservoir, bless it, it needed to be sat somewhere else. You know, but it's where it is for now. Yeah, this situation uh, caused me a lot of few headaches. I didn't realise the pitch on the thread for the banjo bolt on the Brembo is a finer thread. I had to search through my buckets this year. Finally, I found one that was the right one. It was the only one I had. Um, so, yeah, it threw up a few issues because where do you put the brake light switch on it? What I had was, you won't see it now, but there's a plate in the back there, and... Uh, the hole in that little L-shaped plate, that plate actually came out of a trailer back light. In the, it's a bull boulder. And, uh, but that uh, brake light switch, the original one, actually fit in the old isolate. So I made an L-plate, bolted him on, and the spring went on, and I bolted him onto this. Yeah, not pretty, you might say, but it's working. It's functional. And it'll give him a back brake light. You're not saying it's beyond that little tag, but so he's bled up, he's got new shoes in it, it's been fully rebuilt, all the rest of it. I like to work from the back to the front, as some of you probably know, that's just my process. But yeah, the brake's fantastic. I had my syringe on there, which sucks the fluid as you open up the valve, uh, and it's uh, is it quite a quick way of doing it. But this sucks some timing because this didn't fit properly. The bolts that bolt this on, one's there and one's at the back. And unfortunately, the head of the bolt restricted this going flush. So the linkages didn't line up. And it was a bit of a nightmare, to be fair. It wasn't fitted properly when the bike came. And uh, I had my like, concerns about where the brake light switch were going to go because you can't put one on the banjo bolt because it's, there's not enough room between here and the frame because those have a bit of a wire on, as you know, on the banjo bolt brake light switches. So... I've got that one ordered for the front, but I couldn't do it on the back. So that's why I came up with that fix. But it works. It does what it should do. And that's where I'm at for now. I'm going to put the rear set on the other side for the gear linkage. I'll probably shove the chain on it. And I think that'll be me done for the day. I've spent enough time on it. And uh, But yeah, that was a bit of a puzzle, really, to sort out how best it works. It's um, You buy these aftermarket parts in the universal, aren't they? But, you know, to actually make them fit, you have to make things up and come up with ingenious fixes. How can you say? In my world, it's instinctive fixes. And that's what it is when you have an hybrid. You have to do different things because nothing just slots together like a standard bike, does it? All right, folks, I'll get you posted. But you consider this your part five of the Scottish hybrid rebuild. Thanks for watching. Dilly dilly.